It's uh, Mark Vogt with Pond Scum Fly Fishing and Archery Outfitters at Large in North Aurora, Illinois. And I just want to share a quick lesson with you on how to get a canoe up onto your Jeep and how to just use regular rope to do a really good tie down, easily as good as any kind of a ratchet. In fact, it may end up being a lot easier and you're going to like it a lot better than using the ratchets because ratchets swing around the side, you got to throw them over the top of your Jeep, they bang into your windows, they scratch the, the your canoes, your kayaks, why not just use a couple of ropes? We're going to start with getting a canoe up on top and then we're going to take these two ordinary ropes and I'm going to show you how to do something called a trucker's hitch. You're going to learn how to tie a bowline, you're going to learn how to tie uh, a loop on a bite, and you're going to learn how to tie what's called a trucker's hitch. And with those three things, any two pieces of rope, it's going to be able to tie down any canoe that you want onto your Jeep, onto your car, whatever, and you're going to feel really good about it. I've got two regular pieces of rope here. I'm six foot tall, so if I want to measure these really quickly, that's six foot from uh, fingertip to fingertip. And a little more than that, it's about nine, these are about 10 foot ropes. That's what we've got to go on a Jeep Grand Cherokee. First thing I've got to do is get that canoe up on top of my Jeep. The way that you're going to do that is get it up on your hips first, right here. This is what's actually carrying the weight. I'm not trying to bend over and lift this up. Instead, I'm just trying to flip it up so that it's just right above my shoulders. And the easy way to do that is to grab it by the porting straps right here. Get it on your thighs. This is what's carrying the weight. I'm not loading my back right now. I'm not loading anything except my thighs so that all I have to do is one little press and now the canoe is up here. And it doesn't matter if it's 10 or 11 plastic canoe or if it's my 17 foot grooming. It's going to go up the exact same way. Then Neri, if you'll come over here. You're going to see me use my head a little bit because I'm just going to set it on my head momentarily and slide it over. Now you're going to make sure that you got it in the midway. You don't want it over forward and you don't want it over backward. It's got to be dead nuts in the middle because you want it on the slender side here and on the slender side here that when I strap and when I strap, there's no tendency for it to try to pop out. Next question is, how do I make a strap? I'm going to start with one piece of rope. You can zoom really in close here, Neri. I'm going to go underneath here and we're going to tie something called a bowline, a one-handed bowline. You can do that by putting a, I'm, uh, I guess I'm right-handed in this case, you pinch it between your two fingers on this side, you cross over and just tie a little loop like this. You can tie a bowline any way that you want. The point is I want you to tie a bowline right here. Why? Because a bowline doesn't get tighter, it doesn't get looser. Once you've cinched it up, it's done. All I'm going to do now, throw that over on the other side. Let's go do it with the other rope. Do it a little slower. Next one, flip it underneath. Pinching in my two fingers here. I'm going to cross over. You can do that in slow motion. Put the rabbit around the post. Tie this up. Now we have two very nice snug little bowlines. It's not going to get any tighter. It's not going to get any looser. Throw it all the way over. Now here comes the secret recipe. So far we got the canoe up. All we got is a couple of pieces of rope here. The question is, if I try to tie this here, snug it down and pull it up, it's not going to work that easy. I'm not going to have the leverage that I need on this piece of rope to make me feel like that rope is holding that canoe down. So we're going to tie a trucker's hitch. What's a trucker's hitch? Right about at this corner, I'm going to have to get up just a little bit. Right about on this corner, I'm actually going to just tie an ordinary loop. Just make a loop like this, tie one overhand knot, put it through. Absolutely nothing extraordinary going on there. Do you see that? Now what we're going to do is pass this underneath, the rest of the rope, we're going to pass it through that loop, get everything snug up, and when I pull down now, I got a hell of a lot of leverage. I got at least as much leverage as any turnbuckle, ratchet, you name it. Plus, I can actually just pinch the corner right here, and with my two fingers, I can actually keep the tension on there long enough for me to make one little half hitch like that. I pull the loop, I've got a loop on one side, I'm going to pull it until most of the loop is like this. So the only way this is going to pop out is if it goes that way, which is only going to make it tighter. 
and I've already got one done. Let's go do the other side here. I'll get inside my get inside my Jeep just to get my foot up here. And again, I'm going to tie a loop right about there. There's my loop. You can be a little bit further that way, a little further down this way, doesn't matter. Now all I have to do, loop the rest of the rope around my crossbar here, loop it up and through there. And what I have is a shitload of, what I have is a whole lot of leverage to pull down, 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 and really snug that canoe up against that rope up against that bar. Snug it up, pull a little bit more in there. That rope, that, that rope together with the bottom, the back one, this is not going anywhere. When I brake, it's not gonna slide forward. When I accelerate, it's not gonna pull backwards. That's there to stay. And if I ever need to actually take everything off, come over here to this loop, pull it loose ready to go what you really have is for this at Harbor Freight Tools two bucks this one Harbor Freight Tools two bucks for four dollars I've got a completely adjustable totally rope there's no metal that when I threw it over my Jeep it comes swinging around bashes my window cracks it any of that nonsense it's completely adjustable and it's brutally understandable how to do this I don't know how many people even my daughter's age even my daughter's age <laughs> don't know how to use the ratchet turnbuckles. There's two pieces, they've got hooks. It all just seems way too complicated. It's done. Hopefully you found this a lot more, a lot less complicated today.